What the guys? Welcome back to the game. So, this is war number. I think. What? What war number? Get seven? No, eight. Yep, war number eight. Um, we are on path nine here. We have Colossus, Ghost, and also Boss. Boss ain't good at doing anything. Um, so first we got this fight against Nihilus. The reason why I brought the lock here is because I'm pretty immune, and he's also bleed immune as bleed immune as well. So, easy ramp up for losses. So I get clipped there because he's unstoppable, but I do a parry and heavy right here. Go for number two. This, this is very safe for losses because, again, we're very immune. Basically, I'm just building um, my armor stack so I can go for a two. I go for parry, heavy, L2, fight is gone. Very quick, very easy, very simple. Next to have the Xanagon fight, I was debating whether to use Colossus Ghost for this fight. I was really thinking it for a bit, but then I was like, you know what? Let's just go Ghost. So, the reason why I went Ghost here is just really pray for the RNG um, for the leads and whatnot. Really hoping that everything will just stack up and just give me what I want. But, um, as you can see, RNG is not being kind. So I'm like, okay, let's just try to hit his block. Could not do that. Let's see L2. He carries me, and I'm like, how is he carrying me when when I have lost on the team? That doesn't make any sense. So I was like, okay, let's just try to get because I think I, I'm pretty sure this uh, this is bug. Um, like the ghost in a wasp energy is bug. I'm not sure though. I haven't really been. I just started playing ghost again recently. Um, an alliance war, um, but yeah, it's unblockable now, and I'm like, okay, so he parries me there, you know, before, but he does parry me now. It doesn't make any sense. So I think the fight, not the fight, but I think, I do, I do think this energy is bugged. But, uh, I don't know entirely for sure. So this fight, I was really thinking about who to use, Ghost or Wasp, Power Snack, I was like, I was like, Ghost or Wasp? Ghost or Colossus? I was really debating it. Finally went Colossus. Um, and I do think I... Uh, I do think I picked uh, the right champion for this fight. I just had to really play this safely. Um, so what my main goal was, really, was to get the Dexes in, in order for that power snap to be gone. But I'm still pairing here, and I'm like... I'm not gonna try to do that. Yeah. And sorry, allergies is bugged. Um. So I dex right there. I get the parry off, but went to over, went to over power. I go for an L2, but the power snack node resetted. So right now, I'm just trying to bait an L2. L2 was finally baited, and right now I have two stacks of armor, so I'm like, okay, let's try to just buy the combo. So just, right now I'm just trying to bait out his, so just to try to bait out that power snack, I finally do it, but I'm up against the corner, so I'm like, oh, okay, no, can't be doing that, but the backup recovery is now gone, so I could, so I could just now, now I could just, just, you know, like we're just trying to do something now. So I just go for an L2 because I was like, what, what the heck not, but I see that was a great option because, um, as you can see, a power bar would have been up to, uh, two bars of power instead of one. So I'm very happy that I did that. We got power again again. So as you can see, I'm just playing this place very simple. Um, Kingpin is a very good placement here. Um, I feel like, yeah, he's a very good placement here. Um, very tricky fight for this path. Um, I definitely could have ghosted it. Um, but I felt that Colossus was decent enough. So he just stood there waiting for a parry. I was like, yeah, no. So I dex right there, go for an L2 right here, and the fight's done. And I move up to Korg. I am not taking Korg because I do not have Falcon or Apocalypse. 
throwing out uh, throwing out Korg and Moment are now down. So I was like, okay, now we just do these three fights. Um So I was looking at the node. Palace build up, return policy. I was like, who should I use? And I was like, you know what? I could use Ghost here. But I was really contemplating it. I was like, who can I really use here? I was thinking Colossus to build up the armor, but then Ghost could just bypass all those prowlers and unblock them. So I was like, Ghost is the best option. So as you can see, this AI is playing very, very passively here. So I'm like, okay, I, I just have to adapt to how this AI is. So now the unblockable here. And I just go for L2. And she, she's almost dead. The fight's just, oh, no. Like honestly, this this fight's all uh, this fight is literally over. I'm just doing some ghost stuff. And I'm just trying to get up that L1. So I finally get that L1. Uh, finally get out L1. Go for an L2. Fight stuff. 35 hit. Very nice, very simple. Next we have Ultron. Harnock live passively, the unblockable, I think it was passive unblockable, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I just went ghost to this fight, Th this was just saying ghost. So the AIs are playing very passively this war, why I do not know, but I was like, okay. You know, just just trying to go around it, not being way too aggressive. Um, I go for now to here, it stalls out his timer, and now it's not... Now here's something you guys don't to do. I would usually try to uh, try to go for a parry, but um, I don't do that here. The reason being is because I just don't want to get clipped here. I just want to play this very safely because I have a mini boss and also have a fight at the end of this section, which is the Spartaham fight. Now I was thinking, you know what, for Spartaham, I cannot. I can just leave this here for somebody. I was really debating it by just looking at the nodes, crumbling armor, limber, uh, buff toggle. I was really debating it, and I was like, I could just heal a Colossus and do this fight, right? And in my mind, I was like, yes, I can. But then I was really debating Ghost to see what can I do, you know, for this fight. Um, so I popped a Power Star 1 boost, and I pop a Attack and Health booster as well, I'm pretty sure, right? Yes, I do. And I'm just really debating. I'm just really, really, really debating. And I'm just looking to see if I have a tech booster, and I'm like, dang, I do not have a tech booster. Because if I did have a tech booster, this fight would have went super, super, super smooth. So I get parried here. I'm like, what? How how did I get parried? So I see now that I, I see that I have the pro the the fork of popper trigger here, and I just die. Because I got parried, I was like, how? How did I die from that? Like, uh, like, how did he re-parry and everything like that? I was like, what? And now since I'm watching this, as I'm doing this recording, I'm looking and I'm like, ah, that's the reason how. His animations are just way too fast. And if I go in, you know, his light animations are very fast. So if I go in with the medium, as you can see right there, he's going to punish me for it. So I have to hit him directly after his medium attack. So as you can see right there, he punishes me for L2. I was like, okay, that's fine. Now he's just getting court hoppers. I'm like, okay. And of his L1. Go for an L2. Fights now that. So this is something that I can't learn from. I did not realize that. You know, he recovers so quickly, but this is something I can learn from 100%. And now, one of my favorite fights in all of the Lion's War, a Bishop boss and or mini boss.
Now, I know I definitely could have used Colossus here. Colossus definitely was going to be my second choice for this fight, and that's the reason why I brought Colossus. Um, now, Aggravated Power, Advanced Power Start 1 Booster here again, hoping that he will throw the L1 very fast, like, before I use my L2. Um, so I checked to see if the thing is recording. It is. So I was like, okay. So, I get up to the second bar of power. He's almost to his bar of power. And I'm just starting to bait. That's all I'm just trying to do. I'm just trying to bait. And as you can see, it didn't really work out how I planned it. But I still do have the fury. So, this is really, really good. As you can see, it now has five. So I'm just trying to build up those furies to make sure it guarantees kills. 42k, 3k, 4k. You know, so fight was fight was very easy, very simple. And I, then after that, I just moved to Killmonger. So this war, by far, pretty easy war. Um, nothing that I struggled with, but we did end up losing. We had defender our diversity, but we didn't have to attack diversity. I still don't know how how this works, dude. Um. I see that it was 10 points higher, so probably that's how. Um, but I still don't really understand how all this works. But, um, yeah, War ended the loss for War 8, honestly. Um, and by the looks of it, not a lot of two peop not a lot of people are happy um, with this because some a member of mine said who died um, a lot this war, like a million times this war. And I only died once, so I didn't really say anything. I didn't say anything at all. I have the video footage to prove it. Um, but uh, a lot of people died this war by the looks of it, and I don't know how. Um, my section was, for me, my section was very easy. I only died once because um, of the Spider-Ham fight. He recovered too quickly. Um, but my section was pretty easy by far. It was just that one... It was just that one mistake that I didn't really know because I don't really fight Sparta Ham. I don't really use Ghost against Sparta Ham, um, but that's something that I can know um, for next war. But um, yeah, but some of my members aren't too happy, and we are we are gonna be learning from this by we're try, gonna try to communicate more. Um, but that's war number eight. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Take care and have an absolutely amazing day.